was coming down Mitchell Street and I had a crew that was working down there Friday the day before and um, they asked for a, a paint refresh. As I was coming down the street, probably 200 yards before I even got down here, I could smell gas leaking. I knew I had, uh, we had, George Power had manholes within 10 feet of that, that gas leak. So I uh, got my gas tester out of my truck. And as I walked up to the patch in the road, the gas just got stronger and stronger and stronger. And I knew once I leaned over that patch, you could smell the gas coming up. And I knew that's where the leak was. So as soon as I got down to the manhole with the probe, it automatically went off and that, that's, that's bad news right there. So I knew it was a pretty major gas leak. Uh, so I went up to the next hole, it was probably about 30 feet up, same thing. So I said, I have to call somebody right now. So I called AGL, gas leak. And then I called uh, 911. And it's funny because as I was dialing 911, the store owner came out and said he smelled gas and said that he just called 911 as well. I waited on scene a little bit longer, waited for the fire department so I could tell them or show them where I smelled the gas the strongest. Me and my crew arrived. Once we realized the Georgia Power manhole was full of gas, we popped the lids. It was all over the place and we picked up gas everywhere and got a 100% reading of gas. So that's a real dangerous situation when you got contained gas and it's building up. We checked the building. Check that, we got readings at the building. So then we started our leak investigation to pinpoint where the leak was. This situation could have been real catastrophic and uh, maybe a building blowing up if no one did anything, you know. All it took was a, uh, a source of ignition, a light switch or anything if the readings would have got to a certain level inside the building. What goes through my mind with the possibility of, of hundreds of people actually possibly being hurt, I really didn't think about it too much when I was on site. But after the fact, um, when, when realized that the gas levels were as high as when you were in a building, really if they got too bad, it could have blew up the whole block. And I, I felt pretty good about that. I, I felt satisfied, I guess. It, was, it felt good. Yeah, I want to thank Dennis for arriving and reporting the leak and making things secure to we arrived to get the gas off and make it safe because it could have been really a, a, a big thing. It could have been something serious. The spirit of safety to me means you take that extra step. You, you really become a citizen where you serve. You, you, it's what's doing right and just going a little bit above and beyond and not expecting anything. It's just natural. I really don't consider myself a hero at all. I just feel like I was doing my job. I knew it was a, a step above my job, but it was just a part of it. Uh, protecting, uh, being a citizen where I serve, protecting the utility, and uh, obviously protecting uh, buildings and, and people. Absolutely.